such a beautiful, beautiful and beautiful, magnificent day today. We are always the day of the Lord. We're the day of the Lord. We're the day of the Lord. We're the day of the Lord. Um, I'm just here just for a, a brief moment, uh, just an encouragement, um, just here to really encourage the body of Christ. Um, today's the day that the Lord has made, and I'm grateful, and I really rejoice in what God is doing in each of our lives. Um, I just honor each and every one of you. Uh, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your encouragement. You are the wisdom, the glory of the Lord. You're the light of the world, the city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. And you are that light that cannot be placed under a bushel. So you have to shine <laughs> because that's our father. He's always shining, right? So you have to shine. Um, I just wanted to share this encouraging, encouraging word uh, with each and every one of us because I believe this is what the father is speaking uh, to each and every one of us. Uh, just reading from the scripture, I was just meditating on this word this morning. And um, I, 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 and as I began to just uh, uh, dive into it, uh, the Lord began to share with me and he was saying, this word is not just for you. Uh, I have to share it with um, each and every one of us. So uh, I believe uh, we are one in the body of Christ. So I love each and every one of you so very much. And here is the scripture for Mark chapter 4, verse 26 to 29. Uh, this scripture was talking about the kingdom of God, the manifestation of the kingdom of God. I believe we have come into a realm. Uh, uh, we are the kingdom of God because the Bible declares and says that the kingdom of God is inside of you. So we are the kingdom of God. We are the manifestation of the kingdom. Um, I love what the uh, Passion Translation you know, declares when Jesus was sending the disciples out and he says tell them the kingdom of heaven is at hand <laughs> so we have the kingdom of heaven and we have the kingdom of god so here is the kingdom of god the parable of the kingdom of god and it says in the book of mark chapter 9 chapter 4 verse 26 to 29 it says he also said this is what the kingdom of god is like a man scatters seed on the ground night and day whenever whether he sleeps or gets up the seed sprouts and grows though he does not know how or by itself the the soil produces grain first the stalk then the head then the full kernel in the head as soon as the grape is ripe it puts the sickle to it because the harvest has come so the the emphasis of this scripture is the harvest has come that that's the emphasis of it the harvest has come and this is what i was encouraged um you know the, the word i was given uh to to basically uh pronounce he said you are the river that is flowing for you have been sowing and now the abundance of rain upon your seeds is provoking the harvest that you have been praying to see he says you thought it would never come and thought I had forgotten about it. Only did you not know that it had been bearing fruit, your worship, your praise, your prayer, and the words that you have blessed others with. You encouraged them when there was no one to encourage you. You blessed when it felt like you were not getting blessed. This has always been my kingdom in you because I was setting you up all along, positioning you by getting your heart ready for what had always been yours. This is your week. Of miracles my hand seen over your situation and circumstances thank you for not giving up and trusting me for you have entered into your time of harvest you thought i was going to bless you secretly no because for all you have done in secret i am rewarding you in the open for this is what the lord says you will see neither you neither the wind nor rain yet the valley will be filled with water your cattle and other animals will drink. They will drink. For this miracle is going to be seen by all, that all may glorify my name in you. Welcome to your season of miracles. You know, when I was looking at it, I said, Lord, you know, uh, because I was hearing um, that song by Anthony Brown, this week is your week of miracles. And I was thinking, today is Thursday, Lord. You know, why would you want to release <laughs> a miracle in the middle of the week? He said, well, you call it the middle of the week. Is the beginning of a new week 
because my time is now. So what does that mean? That means the timing of the father and our timing are totally different. So when he says, this is your week, that means his week, <laughs> according to his calendar, began today. So it is not Thursday in heaven. It is not Tuesday in heaven. It is now in heaven because we are in the what? In the dimension of now. So this is where he's encouraging each and every one of us. And he's saying that you have entered into what? Your now of miracles. This, you have entered into a time of harvest. This is the moment that I'm going to begin to bless you without no one's permission. For I, everything that you have gone through, for the words, those, this is for those that have been obedient and continue to walk in obedience in what the Father has been instructing them. You have been walking in that obedience. You have been going through. You have been persevering. You have been enduring. And it felt like, wow, you know, Lord, nothing is happening. It feels like nothing is happening for me and everybody around me, you know, is getting blessed, but nothing is happening with me. And he says, the time is now because you have entered into the promise that I have laid for you. This is not going to be by man's permission. This is not going to be what man is going to orchestrate. No, this is going to be by my doing because you have come to Zion, the city of the living God, into the innumerable company of angels. So this is where the divine assistance has been released onto you to bring forth what man should have done, but they refused to do. So this is where I'm going to begin to do it and bring it into manifestation. So this is your new season <laughs> because he says what? In the book of Daniel, he raises up kings and he what? He disposes kings. And when he says it is a new season, it means you have entered into a new realm and a new chapter in Christ Jesus, who we are in the revelation of him. So I bless each and every one of you with this dimension because you are the blessing and you are the glory of God. Be blessed because you're highly blessed and you're favored. I love each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day in his presence. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.